Okay, I got power to my uh, current build, which, you know, I have the SR2 motherboard with two X5680s. Uh, so far, everything's working really well. One thing you have to keep in mind, and someone did mention this, that in order for Windows to see both two physical processors, you have to have Windows 7 Pro or Windows 7 Ultimate. Uh, if you have Windows 7 Home Premium, it will not see the second processor. So I had to go ahead and get a uh, version of Professional. I went ahead with, with Professional. So uh, now what you're looking at is just a shot of my cards. I'm not going to do a, a computer showcase until I get all the wiring and everything correctly. But I did want to do a quick Cinebench run so you all could see what this monster can do. Okay, so let's go over here. i got some information I was going to show you. Okay, what you're looking at here is my two... Uh, it's a CPU-Z screenshot of my two uh, processors. And if you look, I have it mildly overclocked at 4 gigahertz. It was not hard to get to 4 gigahertz, too. Uh, one of the things I was worried about the SR2 motherboard is it being a server-type motherboard with two processors talking to each other. I thought maybe I'd have more difficulty getting an overclock. I'm going to go higher, but for right now, 4 gigahertz is good enough. Uh, you can see this is processor number one, so you have a selection down here six cores, twelve threads for this processor right here. And then here is processor two, six cores, twelve threads. And it's at four gigahertz as well. Uh, the highest multiplier you can use with this motherboard is 25, so I'm going to have to do all my overclocking using the uh, base clock. And right now I'm at 160. Okay, looking at my... There we go, my memory here. That's one negative I've seen so far with the SR2, and they may change it with BIOS updates, but there are not many dividers available for the memory. For instance, I'm using the highest divider, so I'm able to be at 800 on the frequency of my memory, which is DDR3-1600. You know, the only way I'm going to get my memories rated at 2000, the only way I'm going to get to there is if I get my base clock up to, I think, 184, and that'll, that'll work out to like 4. 5 gigahertz maybe at 2000 so that's what I'm going to shoot for later and you see my timings here is at 77724 I can actually run tighter timings than that but again I'm just doing a quick set of bench I'll do some tweaking of it more later over here you can see my four 480s hooked up uh, and so far I've been using the 257 drivers the uh, Forceware drivers and they are working wonderfully. So even though they're in beta, they're working very well. That's one of the reasons I went to NVIDIA from ATI. Okay, here is the task manager down here. And my computer shows 24 threads. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So as you can tell, I can count. So that's just a quick screenshot of that. And then over here, the last thing I'm going to show you before we do Cinebench is there is in my device manager 24 Intel X5680s. And of course, it just shows the stock clock of 3.33. So here we go. Let's go ahead and get this off here. Okay, I'm and pulling up Cinebench 7.5. And to be honest with you, this is going to go really fast. Uh, I will show you that stock, if you see the number one there, 12 cores, 24 threads at 3.33, I got a 15.71 at stock at 3.33 gigahertz. And you can see how it just towers above everything else possible. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this started. Wait till you see this. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go hit start right now. The speed with which it, you know, it renders is, is unbelievable. Okay, just like that, that's done. So let's go ahead and look at the score over here.
a 20. I have bro I've broken 20. That is unbelievable. 20.08 for the score on that. Well, I wanted to give you all a quick uh, Cinebench benchmark. Uh, again, it'll probably be a couple weeks before I do my final uh, computer showcase and I'll show you how I build it and everything I put in it. So please subscribe and stay tuned.